I arrived in the village, well, now about three and a half hours ago. Um, so yeah, it was the airport, very efficient. And then I remember leaving Beijing thinking that's a very big city. Uh, and that's about all I've seen. And it's been a, it's been quite rushed since I've been here. But yeah, all, so far, so good. Um, nice, nice, nice place what we've got here. So yeah, very fortunate. Yeah, I'm still in shock, still trying to process the, the honour. Um, but yeah, obviously, it'll be a very proud moment. Um, I never dreamt of it. I never thought I'd be asked for it. But yeah, to be asked is obviously at my fourth Olympics is is yeah awesome and yeah I'll I'll do the the, the country proud and lead out a, a hell of a team behind me no like as I, well as a kid I just dreamt of going to the Olympics probably like a lot of other people um still clinging on lost a lot of hair and uh but no uh my my career I, I've developed later than most so yeah naturally I'm still I don't know still able to compete at the top at 35 which Yes, yeah, it's, it's not as easy as, say, at 30, but, yeah, just um, proud to be at the fourth games. Whether I, I expected it, probably not, no. <laughs> I, I already knew I was skiing well, even though a few of my results before it hadn't been as good. I had a fifth in the first race, but then struggled in a few races. But, yeah, just reiterated that I am skiing well. What I'm doing is working, so don't stop doing them. Keep working hard and keep that form going into the Olympics. I mean... We, we race over from November until March in the World Cup. So we always have to be as close to our peak as we can. So I know how to yeah come down from that and then build for the next one and, and things like that. I've been through the process a lot. So hopefully just carry that into the 16th. Yeah, I think, well, because the last two years we've had to live in our sort of, well, for us, our team bubble, our Alpine team bubble, you kind of, it's not the norm, but you get used to it and, and you, you know all the processes, you know what you've do, got to do to stay as vigilant as you can against it. I mean, some people are going to get unlucky. You've, you've got to fly here, you've got to, you through the airport. So through no fault of their own, some people will get unlucky. But yeah, we've done this for two years now. And so here's going to be a very similar experience to yeah how a race day would be anyway but yeah it's a shame that there's no fans the the buzz but we still got a we still got our team gb team here we're still we're still together obviously we've got to be careful for each other but yeah we're still buzz off each other and feed off each other really yeah i think team gb as a whole i think we're just getting building and building i think we've shown that over the last two games and i don't think there's any reason why realistically we can't do better than that um I love a lot of winter sports. I remember being a kid and coming home from uh, college. I'd get my homework out and just put on the TV and just just chain winter sports. I used to know the rules to everything, ski jumping, biathlon. I knew the rules to everything. So, yeah, a big fan as well. And, and for myself, yeah, expectations obviously gone up from everyone around me, from myself as well. But, yeah... I've, I know now at my age that you just got to do what you can, get yourself in the best position you can to to have what do what you can do on the day. It's a very tight sport. Fourteen different med, uh, podiums. This people on the podium this year in slalom out of six races. So fourteen people we get getting asked the same question: Can you do it again in Beijing? So someone's got to be fourteenth. But yeah, it's, that's the nature of the sport, and I'll do do my best. Yeah, hopefully we can. Do the nation proud, give everyone a lift because times are times are tough for everyone and we feel it as well. But yeah, we'll do everyone proud and fly our flag high.